there guys. Today we're taking a closer look at my typical airsoft loadout gear. Since I mostly attend shorter skirmish style games, my goal with this type of kit was to keep everything very minimal and lightweight to improve my overall playing style and efficiency. In order to play airsoft, you need a primary rifle that's reliable. For me, nothing has been better than the standard M4 platform. Of course, there's many options, but the SBR by Crytek has a fantastic track record for its performance and range on the field. To help improve my effective range even more, I've added a Prometheus R-Hop barrel. And since the goal of this loadout is also to reduce fatigue, I've attached a Magpul 2-point quick adjust sling to the side of the rifle. Moving on, to aid in my accuracy, I've actually attached a Holosun Red Dot, as well as a UTG magnifier to give myself the best view of my targets. And for you folks at home, I have a 35mm scope cam for capturing those juicy hits up close and personal. And of course, in addition to a rifle, you need something for close range combat, so I'm running the Jag Precision TTI 2011. And for those eagle-eyed viewers of you at home that notice this gun looking familiar, it's notably known for its appearance in John Wick Chapter 3. And as fun as Rail 2011s are, it can actually be a little challenging to find a holster that works well, but thankfully this Phobos holster delivers a clean, quick draw whenever I need it. Obviously, guns are one of your main focuses when bringing gear to the field, but a lot can be said for the clothes you wear, too. Personally, I tend to prefer more of a contractor or agent style over military gear, so that's why I've kind of opted to run an OD green jacket and pants that still keep me moderately hidden, even if they're not fully camouflaged. And though that's my preferred style, as things heat up in the summer, I will tend to adjust my outfit to give me the best advantage in the environment. As fun as Airsoft is, an ounce of protection is worth more than a lifetime of regret. And since I'm located in the Pacific Northwest, we do tend to have a lot of brush and brambles on the fields, so I like to make it a habit of wearing gloves to games. I've actually found, though, that the extra padding makes all the difference in the feel, grip, and overall protection that I experience throughout the game. For eye and face protection, I keep it simple with a mesh mask and close to face fitting goggles which allow me to see through my weapon sights a bit easier than normal. I also owe a great deal to my secret weapon though, my X-Fog unit that actually blows clean cool air into my goggles and allows me to see even clearer even in the worst kinds of weather Washington has to offer. And as fun as all this gear is, it's always going to be way more fun to see it in action so let's go ahead and take it to the field. Huh? Could be. We're starting to get a little closer to respond now. We're not in respond yet. But... Yep. Pull back. There. Get those bound up. See if we can take out enemies right here. So, me and an ally find ourselves deep behind enemy lines, and my r hop dinner barrel proves to be crucial in getting this player here to finally call his hit. Unfortunately, because it took so long for that guy to call us hit, our flank is kind of ruined, and we're shot and forced to retreat. Hit! You got me! Uh, good flank, yep. The battle's not over yet, though, and there's still plenty of time to make sure the enemy team hurts for taking ground on us. Shot. 
Oh yeah, you're dead. You're bad guy. <laughs> Good shot. A few games later, and the sweltering heat has me needing to take my jacket off. Our team is pushed up and are desperately attempting to secure a foothold at the flag site in the center of the city. This gives me the perfect excuse to break out my close range sidearm. Contact down. Yeah, no, I'm just hearing a lot of spray coming from. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Both teams find themselves entrenched on either side of the city. So, I decide to take action and put pressure on them from another angle. With points scored for both teams, the battle for the city finally comes to a close. I attempt one final gamble that pays off in, well, quite frankly, a pretty cool way. And with my first ever recorded grenade kill, that's actually going to wrap things up for today, guys. I got a closer look at that TTI Combat Master coming up for you, as well as some really fun and exciting gameplay from South Sound that you're not going to want to miss, so stay tuned. And as always, have a great day, don't be a cheater, and that's all, folks.